Hi all, this is David Fuxa and this is my monthly talk for January 2013. I've managed to uh, do quite a few videos in, in the past six months. I'm pretty happy with you know what I've released so far. And um, well, let's just talk a little bit about what my plans will be for my future videos. I brought to an end my Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup videos and um, I won't be pursuing any more of those like of that game until uh, version 12 comes out. For Dwarf Fortress, I'll be waiting for Toadie to eventually release a new update. If uh, those updates are released in the next month or two, then I'll be jumping you know, back into those games, but for now, I'll uh, be staying clear of them. I've managed to do quite a few Fast and Light videos, and I'm sort of uh, getting to the point where I'm going to start to edge toward finishing off you know, the last few cruisers that I've uh, yet to show, the Rock Cruiser, Mantis Cruiser, and the Unidentified Cruiser. And... Um, you know, just sort of orient, orient my, myself away from that and roguelikes in general. Basically, I'm basically going. I'm not going to do roguelikes, you know, for near future. Pretty much after I get my Fast and Life videos out of the way. So I'm going to be looking into new series. And as you can see on my desktop, I have Battlezone 1.5. Battlezone is an old FPS RTS game. It's well, one of the, one of the kind of game that has really it really opened up a genre that never really came to be. Real time strategy, first person shooter, blended games. Didn't really kick off. They it made a good game when it came out, but it didn't really catch on. And when the sequel came out, it got panned. So Activision didn't really pursue making any more games like it. So it sort of died. But the old game is still quite popular, and uh, it it does envision a type of gameplay that you have yet to see in you know in in the re relative uh, new times. So you know, figure just look at it to show you off what it's about. Art in Battlezone is also Path of Exile. That's, uh, of course, the old um, hack and slash Diablo-like game that I'd uh, looked into a little bit before. I haven't really played it, but it's been updated uh, quite a bit since I was jumping into it, and I figured I would go into it and do like a real series of that. Besides those games, um, there's also all the old classic games I used to play that were Abandonware. I've mostly been staying close to shareware and freeware games because there's really no legal issues with me recording those games, and um, they're free, so there's no real problem with that either. Abandonware games, however, are a little bit different, and um, it's technically illegal for me to be downloading those games, and like, you know, uh, YouTube like, doesn't really like it when you like go to illegal stuff because of issues with that, but at the same time, Abandonware is, by definition, um, software that has been abandoned by their owners, so there's probably less of an issue with it just for a simple reason that software makers do not um, they don't they don't uh, look after their abandoned products that you know at all and they sort of don't want to make money and it just don't care about it. so there shouldn't be any problem really with me doing a few recordings on that so we'll see um, outside of games I plan to uh, sort of get back into like real life mode and trying to get like a job and all that I haven't really had much success in the past little while but it's a new year, new possibilities. I'll be looking into getting a new job. Um, that probably won't take away from the last place for the next little while, but if you know if I get a job, then that'll imme immediately take away from uh, me recording because I won't have time for recording as much as I, as I have. Um, with that in mind, you will still see, of course, a lot of recordings from me. Just it'll be a lot less than usual. All right, then. So take care. I hope you enjoyed my videos thus far. If um you if you liked what you see, be sure to tell, like send me a comment on like my video pages or this video page, um or my channel page and just tell me what you think uh you know you really like about my videos. If like you want you know to see something specifically done by me, maybe there's a um, a game that uh you know you saw me play in like my shareware freeware uh, episodes and you want to say I want to see you uh, run that game to its full fullest or whatever, then I can do that. Um, possibly. I won't be doing a few games like Duke Nukem 3D or anything like that, but I wouldn't mind, you know, playing Duke Nukem 1's shareware or something like that from start to finish. And who knows, I can actually buy the game off of GOG, because that's, uh, as I said, those are, um, freeware and shareware games for the simple reason that, um, the, uh, owners of those games have not abandoned their copyright, um, like, you know, some of the abandonware games. And alright, I guess that'll be enough. Hope you enjoyed.